Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they tell us to not solve the problem or do any math, but they want us to go over the concept and draw the position and the velocity vectors for this question. So they say that a speed skater is moving along frictionless ice at this speed, and then the person hits a five meter wide patch of rough ice, um, and then she slows and then continues on at a slower speed. So what is the acceleration on the ice? So we have three sections. We have smooth ice, rough ice in the middle, and then continues on at a uh, smooth ice again. So we have ice, we'll say rough, and then smooth ice again. The rough ice is five meters, so from here all the way to here is five meters. And then the first section, they don't tell us how wide the smooth ice is on either side. They just say that she's going along here at eight meters per second and then slows down and then is going along at six meters per second. So to draw those, the first one, the reason they say that it's frictionless is to indicate that she's going along at a constant speed so that friction isn't slowing her down and assuming that she's not speeding up by skating faster. And then when we hit the rough section, the arrows are going to be getting shorter. They won't completely disappear, but they will be getting shorter. And then they'll be going at the same length again because she's at the slower speed of six meters per second. So they won't get any longer or shorter at this point and she'll just continue on. So this section right here is the position and the velocity vectors for the situation going on a constant speed, slowing down during the rough ice, and then continuing again at a constant but slower speed along the ice after the rough ice.